more snow is falling down All the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside Hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you Hello guys, thanks for watching. Welcome to my clean and decorate for Christmas part one. I don't know how many parts there's going to be, but I do know that the house is such a disaster right now and I have so much decorating I need to do that there's no way I'm gonna get this all done. Um, and I'm going to be doing this all day. So I'm going to go back and forth between the cleaning and the decorating. I have help in the kitchen right now from Chad because it really is like that much of a disaster around here so we have a lot to do i hope that you enjoy this if you do please like it if you're new here please consider subscribing i do have a playlist for christmas and i'm doing like a lot of holiday videos right now so i'll be sure to link that below and let's get started The first thing on my to-do list was getting that Christmas tree up. So I'm going to make room over here and then get started on the tree and I'll be working on it like periodically, sporadically throughout the day. There were dishes in the sink, the floors were dirty, etc. but more than anything, I just wanted this Christmas tree up so bad. I have been talking about it for weeks and I have had several trees over the years. This one's my favorite. It's from King of Christmas because it's only three parts. It's pre-lit, everything about it is just so easy you don't have to put the branches on individually I've had fake trees where you've had to do that the only thing I need to do is what I'm doing right here and that is straightening out all the branches and making them look how I want them to and I do about half of this before I put on the ornaments and then the rest I will do afterwards that way if I need to make a space for an ornament or if I need to fill an empty spot etc I can fix it at the very end And this year I decided to go much more neutral than I have in the past, but I do plan to incorporate a little more blue. I talk about it further along in the video. I need some color in my life. I did a candy theme two years ago with like pinks, blues, a lot of really bright colors. Last year I did red and green, so I can't do completely neutral. It's just not who I am. But let me know in the comments the colors that all of you guys are using this year. I'm just really interested to see like how many of you are doing the same thing, if there's one that's really common or if it's all across the board. We are about to go downstairs and look through all of my holiday decor bins, but I have one upstairs already, so that's what I'm doing here. There are a few nutcrackers, there's trees, anything red and green I'm setting aside for Forest's room. In part two, I'm going to do a tree in his room and decorate that and start like the whole process with you, start to finish in there, so that will be really fun. That tree hasn't arrived yet, but it should be here any day. Now we are downstairs, so this is my huge mess of holiday decor, and we have a winter project planned for this year of like really making the storage room super organized all the different seasonal decor and everything else in there but we haven't gotten to it yet so this is what it's looking like downstairs we pulled out all the holiday decor that we could find I do have a silver tree like a tinsel tree I used I think it was two years ago and I don't know if I'm going to use it this year I haven't decided where it could even go in the house I guess it could go in my bedroom so we'll see if I get to that but here I'm starting to sort out all of the decor and I'm just trying to figure out what I'm using and what I'm not so anything bright pink I know I'm not using so that stuff is going to be set aside and put all into the same bin and then if I think I can use something I'm bringing it upstairs so that's what I'm doing right here
Whenever I share these videos, it looks like I'm all over the place and that's because I am. I try and decorate one area for a few minutes, I'll move on to another one, and I keep going back and forth between as many as I can really until I'm done. That way I don't have an area that's very heavily decorated and then another one that's very empty. I try and even things out as much as I can. I'm adding some garland onto the mantle now. I'm going to put a few more trees on the cabinets and then I will work my way back to the Christmas tree. With the tree and the garland up, it's really starting to come together so quickly. I thought it might be difficult to decorate in here with the wallpaper, but it really wasn't. If I choose something neutral, it seems to go with the wallpaper so well. I am going to add more on those cabinets in part two. I talk about that in a few minutes. So we have a little more to do in the living room, and then we're going to work our way around to the dining room, the kitchen, the front door entry area. That's why this video is so so long because we have a lot to decorate and we haven't even started any of the cleaning. There's little Fory Boy helping me to decide where to put all of the ornaments. He already has started pulling out the tree, so I know I'm going to be dealing with that for a long time. Also, let me know in the comments what kind of Christmas tree all of you get. Do you get a real tree? Do you use a fake one like I do? Are you having a flocked Christmas tree? Flocked trees have always been my favorite. I just think the fake snow on there is so magical looking and screams like winter wonderland. So I feel like this will be my favorite style for forever. But as you know, I did a tinsel tree a few years ago, a silver one. Um, one day I would like to have a pink tree too. I think that'd be really fun. It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories We are moving on to the dining room and I love this look so much. I know this is a small detail, but it's easily one of my favorite things of everything I decorate because I've never decorated our chairs or stools before. And whenever I look at holiday decor ideas on Pinterest, there's always stools or chairs with little wreaths on them. I think it looks so, so pretty. I shared these from Hobby Lobby in that shop with me video. And then the wreaths you see me put on the counter stool are from there too and when I bought these bows I didn't even know how I was going to use them I just thought they would fit really well with our decor so on the chairs I'm obsessed I did a double knot and then I hid the rest of the string behind the pillows The last bow just went on the dining chair and now we're going to work on some things in the kitchen. So first I'm going to straighten up really quick, get a few things off the counters, and then we're going to work on the centerpiece for the kitchen island. 
And if you're familiar with how I decorate, I love to use a basket for centerpieces because it's just really practical. We don't really have like a island or a dining table that we don't use that's just for looks. So sometimes we need all the space we can get and if I decorate in a basket, I can pick it up in one go. So for us, it's the most practical way to decorate and I think it looks really cute too. veggies are going back in the pantry so that I can decorate this corner. I always save this corner for seasonal decor. So that home goods sign is going here and then I'm going to add a few trees around it and the really tall tree front and center right now is going to go on the windowsill right above the kitchen sink. We are on to the front entryway, so things are moving a lot faster now because the living room is tons of decor, and then everywhere else around the house, it's just a little bit here, a little bit there to create a cohesive look. But the front door is going to be completely different. So I'm going to get the mirror, table, and rug out of here, and then I'm adding in a chase lounge. And I don't finish it in this video, I still kind of need to like figure out how to do this, but I knew for sure that I wanted to do a different rug for winter time and I'm thinking instead of a runner like this I might just do a rectangle at the front door Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. We are about to get the dining table all cleared off and a little bit decorated and I just thought of this, if you decorate for Christmas and you share it on Instagram, please tag me. I would love to see what you come up with. I have a lot of trees that have been hanging out on the dining table that need to go on the cabinets in the living room and then the presents I still haven't completely figured out but you will see in a little while where those end up. Forrest is in the background by the way pushing around his high chair. He's still working on walking. He's a man who knows what he wants and he wants to be carried so that's why he's not really walking a whole lot yet. I'm wiping off the dining table. I wish you could see the sparkles. They are everywhere and I'm sure they will be for forever which is totally fine by me. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. So I'm about to start the cleaning and I thought before I get into that I would give you an update 
of what everything's looking like. I do need to get flowers. Let me know actually what you think I should get to add in here. I don't really know a whole lot about like winter florals. Um, so something from Hobby Lobby, if you know any like specific names that you think would look really good in there, let me know. And then I'm also waiting for Chad to get home from the store. He got me some hooks for these chairs for the wreaths so I don't have to like wrap a ribbon around and make a big mess because as you can see, they're not being held up very well. Um, this is gonna go in my office. I have a bunch of stuff over there I need to take care of on the counter. I need to wipe down every thing. I need to do the floors really good. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but guys, there is so many sparkles on the ground. Fake snow, like they're absolutely filthy, but that always happens with Christmas decor. I have all of this stuff to take care of. And then this is what the living room is looking like. I did get a lot done in here, still a total mess. I'm going to straighten up the couch in this video so you can see like what the pillows will look like and the throw blankets, um, those presents I haven't put out yet because I'm going to wait until the Christmas tree's done since the flocking starts to fall off. Um, when you're adjusting it. I haven't decided where to put this small village, so if you have any ideas, let me know. And then this table, I might put it in storage, but if you guys have any ideas, also let me know because I feel like you know um, the house and the layout pretty well. So if there's anywhere you think I should put that, let me know. All right, so let's get this mess taken care of. That way you can really see the decor start to come together. All of this excess stuff is ruining it a little bit and making it look way too busy because it is. So I'm trying to get extra stuff off the counters, like that was a charger for a vacuum, extra oils. Um, there's a little Santa mug I need to wash, and then I will wipe everything down. And I might add decor on the pendant lights in the kitchen. I don't want to overdo it. I'm like really trying to find the happy medium because I do want it to look very styled, but I don't want it to look too busy. I know our house is a little busy for some of you in the first place, but it's not for me. I like things very like styled out and fun. So it's just so fun like creating all of this and seeing it all come together. Right now I'm wiping down the kitchen counters. I'm going to wipe down the backsplash and make sure everything is fresh, clean, and ready to go. Also, I thought I'd let you know my pajamas are from Target a few years ago. I always get their holiday pajamas every year because they're so cute and they are a really good price. And then my sweater, or I should say cardigan, is from Old Navy and that's pretty new so I'm sure they still have it. So as you can tell from the darkness of the windows, it is a lot later now. So we're basically starting an after dark clean with me because as you can tell, there's a lot more footage to get through because I had so, so much I needed to clean. The stuff was everywhere from decorating. And honestly, I'm so glad I decorate early because it is so much work. I want to enjoy it for a very, very long time. So this year I decorated the first week of November. I noticed a lot of you have like specific time 
times you decorate every year, whether it's the day after Thanksgiving, the third week of November, second, whatever. I don't have a specific time or day. I just do it whenever I feel like doing it. And honestly, the earlier, the better after Halloween for me at least. So I'm working on vacuuming the living room, getting all of that flocked fake snow picked up off the rug, off of underneath the Christmas tree, and then I'm going to straighten up decor that I need to use in part two. This time of year is a time to cheer. Let our love ones, our family and friends have a Christmas with so much love and with joy and laughter. Let us make memories that stay forever. It's Christmas today. All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you So the tree skirt did make it on for now, but I actually think I'm going to go get one of those basket skirts from Hobby Lobby. That's probably not even what they're called, but it's like narrow and tall and it's a basket instead of having a flat skirt around your tree. I've never really noticed those before. I'm not sure if it's a new thing or it's always been around, but I saw those at Hobby Lobby and ever since I saw them in store, I've been seeing them like all over Instagram on trees and I think it looks really, really pretty. So that's something different. I plan on sharing with you in part two. Now I'm dealing with the chaos over here. So those chairs are going downstairs and like the downstairs um, playroom TV area and then everything that I'm not using is going in storage and the white table is going to go upstairs because I think I may use that in my bedroom. Well, are you exhausted from just watching me? Because I know I am at this point. So right now I'm going to quickly sort through holiday decor and I have a few bins here. So one of them are items I think I'm going to use in part two, anything white or very neutral. One of them, the red and green is going to go upstairs for forest room so we can use that in part two. And then another one is going back in storage if I know it's items I'm not going to use. And the fourth one is going to be an empty one and just a little tip I thought I would share with you if you need any storage bins even if they're not red and green any size any color they seem to always be heavily marked down after the holidays at basically every store that sells them Home Depot Walmart Target etc so if you have a big storage project coming up keep that in mind
right, the last two things on our list for tonight are vacuuming and mopping and then I give you guys like a walk around of the house and show you what we've done so far and talk about what we are going to do in the next video. But first things first, I'm starting by the front door and then working my way around. I already vacuumed the living room as you saw, but everything else was almost equally as bad and in fact while I was vacuuming I would like vacuum a little bit and then I would wipe my feet off and keep vacuuming because it was so dirty I felt like I was picking things up as I went The dining room is just about done and then I'm going to pick up some speed and get through the kitchen really quickly and I always think it's so funny like how disheveled I get throughout these videos. I start the video like fairly put together and then as we go I start falling apart a little bit more and a little bit more so my hair at this point is like a total wreck but in the moment I don't care I just like want to get stuff done so I always think that's really funny like my outfit starts to get stretched out and yeah I just I turn into a mess but oh well that's real life so I'm vacuuming under the counter stools I know those wreaths are going to drop stuff all like season long but that's okay because they look so so cute I'm sure Forrest is going to pull on those too now I'm grabbing all of those presents and gifts the fake ones and putting them under the tree for now but I really need to find it somewhere else for those to go because they're so cute I don't want them lost under the tree and not noticed and I also decided to quickly vacuum off the couch with a small attachment because I had a lot of decor sitting on here so Forrest wouldn't get to it and because I did that there was also sparkles and just like little flocked pieces all over the couch. If you're into the faux fur throw trend or even like the faux fur pillows, go to Home Goods soon because I know those will sell out and they are all a very good deal everywhere else. They're like 50, 60, 70 dollars way more money there's no comparison and I really think it's the same quality too I haven't really had a whole lot of faux fur throws before but it does scream super cozy winter wonderland at least I think so so I had to grab one this year that pillow is from Hobby Lobby and then the light blue ones are from home goods and I had those on the chair in front of the frames before the Christmas tree was up And before I mop, there's just a couple last minute things I wanted to take care of. So I'm going to wipe down the island after dinner, get all the fingerprints, sauce, etc. off of there. And then I'm going to take care of those few items at the sink. And that is it before mopping. And I feel like without all of the extra stuff everywhere, you can really start to see the look come together. So I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? 
to be making our Christmas memories. Oh oh, la da 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 oh oh, la da 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 oh oh, la da 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 making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles on the tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights, so you should come back home to me. And when we wake up in the morning, I'm gonna play those carols that you love. We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and. While I'm mopping, I'm using the Christmas Spirit Essential Oil on my mop head. I drop a few drops on it every once in a while. I would say like three times throughout the process of mopping this floor. So not only does it look all Christmassy, but it smells like it too. The last area I need to mop is that front entryway and then we will do our walkthrough. I will catch you up to speed on everything we've gotten done so far and a little bit on what we will do in part two. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the voiceover part and I hope you're not too exhausted from all of this because it was a lot but it was so worth it. Guys, it's 10:19. It's late. I've been working real hard all day. I had a break um, for bath time and bedtime and all of that, but I got a lot done today, way more than I thought I would. So let me walk you around, show you everything, and then I'll tell you like what I still want to do and ask for your input on a couple things. This is what the kitchen is looking like for now, and I'm going to go up close on everything in detail in a holiday home tour or something like that. I wanted to show you the wreaths. We did put those command hooks on there, so it just sticks on there. I would pull it off and show you, but I mopped. I don't want to get sparkles, sparkles all over the floor. I know they will with Forrest. He's going to pull on them and whatnot but I think they look so, so cute. I have the little thing in the middle. I need to add on um, over there. And then I did put a tree. And then the chairs, these bows look so, so cute on all the chairs. I absolutely love that. Let me just show you this one. It's the same thing, but still, so you have a better feel for the flow in here. Isn't that so cute? And then I need to add flowers in there. I don't know where to put this small village thing, so let me know um, if you have any ideas. I might put it upstairs. I wanted it downstairs, but I feel like I don't really have a place for it. This isn't done, so I'll figure this out in part two. I'm just waiting for it to focus a little bit better for you, the snow globe. And then, yeah, I don't know what to do. Over here, if you have ideas, let me know. <laughs> and then the living room. This is what this area is looking like. So for the tree, it does have a lot on it, but almost everything is white or silver, so it does look empty. Like if you look up close, you can probably see a lot better. There is a lot on it. I just need to get some ornaments that are light blue um, so that it will tie in with everything else. I didn't buy a single one yet, so all these ornaments are from previous years. I try and use as much as I can, 
from previous years and then I add on to every year I'll get like a little bit more so that's why I didn't buy any in the last shop with me but I do need to go to Target or Hobby Lobby and get some ornaments to fill this up that are light blue and a little more of like this blue and then it will tie in with a wallpaper over here and then I basically just set out the trees to see how many I had because I do want to do like a lot of well, it's obvious I'm doing a lot of trees in a completely different style, but they all are very cohesive and go together, similar colors. So I'm going to get fake snow to put on here. And then should I do the trees all separate or should I do like a couple here, a couple there? Um, let me know what you guys think about that. So there's more trees over here. Almost all of those are the same as what's over here, but like a slightly different sizes. I'll add on some ornaments on there as well whatever I add on on the tree. I'll add up there and then here's how the couch is looking. I love that throw from Home Goods. I might get a few more pillows. I'll just see how it goes. I need to go through this in the morning, so ignore that. I know it's like such an eyesore compared to everything else. I did flip it though, I turned it. So it used to be this way and now we have way more floor space with it that way so at least it's like a little bit better but i need that guys it's like how we function all of these ornaments um i think i'm going to use well it's not all some of it's like florals and stuff i think i'm going to use all that either in the kitchen or on the tree or somewhere the gifts i did put down there but i'm not going to keep those there i don't think and then the front door so i guess i'll just stand over here, what should I do? I'll turn on this light. And then the garden stools. I probably will pull these out of here for the holidays. I don't know where to put them, in storage or in our room or somewhere. So that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed this. In part two, I'm going to put the tree up in forest room. I have a bunch of stuff to put on that tree. I'll probably do like a little more in there than just a tree. Um, we will finish this Christmas tree. We'll add like everything around the house and finalize and finish everything so we still have a lot more to do but i hope that you guys enjoyed this one thank you so much for watching and spending the time with me please be sure to like it if you haven't please subscribe if you're new i would love to have you i will link the christmas playlist below um i think this is like my third or fourth year of doing these Christmas videos. So if you wanna like go through the playlist, see the old house if you're new and I try and do a different style every year. So yes, I'm gonna stop rambling and I feel like that's everything, right? I think I said everything. So thanks for watching. I'll see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.